Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome to April's How to Kill a Kit with Style wrap up. So as you recall I brought back out my lovely My Mind's Eye Gingham Foundry uh, collection. It was a collection just from last year and it was a collection that I bought that I really really needed when I received it I used it a little bit and then put it away and forgot all about it until this year. And I had, in fact, bought two collection packs of the paper. And within the collection packs are a couple of little sticker sheets, uh, as well as, you know, the chipboard and the die cuts. And um, so really had not you know, done it justice. So I thought I would bring it back out for my How to Kill a Kit with Style for this month. I didn't get a crazy amount of it used yet um, again, but I do have, I do have one more page kit um, that I did not manage to get done for Build a Page in April that is set and ready to go and that you're going to see very, very soon probably I'm still in the midst of sort of deciding a little bit where I'm going to go with how to kill a kit in May because I think it's going to be a little bit eclectic project focused and bringing in you know I have a few things just lying around that I don't seem to be using or something a little bit similar to what uh Becky and Jackie are doing on Saturday sort of a deep stash dive where they take collections that are almost done and I'm sort of going to maybe try and do that with uh, page kits or bits that I have lying about. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. So let's get back to what I did do uh, in April. I will put my kit share up here in one of those little cards so you can go back and have a look at that. So I have three layouts here. And I'm going to say that I'm still quite happy with that because I did get quite a bit used on each of them. Now, on this very first layout, I will say straight away that this piece of paper is not from the collection. It's something that I did bring in because I just loved the colors and how it went along with the collection but brightened it up just a little bit for this particular layout. And this is a layout I did for May I Scrap Lift You, where I was scrap lifting my lovely friend Giselle Julien. So all three of these have videos. Uh, you can just go back on my channel and find them, or you can go to my April playlist, which has everything uh, I did throughout the month. Every All the other paper on here is, of course, from uh, the kit, some chipboard, um, as well, stickers. I die cut this out of some of the paper and then used some of the offcuts. The enamel dots are from the collection. And I brought in, as I always do, of course, some lovely Dotty About Flare Flarealicious pieces. In this case, I also brought in some of the lovely Shadney uh, wood veneer. Uh, which are tennis related because it's a tennis related layout, of course. Then the second layout that I got done was for uh, a hop, a celebration hop that we did, a milestone hop for the lovely Janet, who is Galaxy Girl Creates here, uh, Galaxy Girl Creations. Why do I know that 100% and now all of a sudden I'm not quite sure. Anyway. Uh, here on YouTube, and it was her 2000 subby hop, which is amazing. So I used the uh, collection here, another bit of that die cut. The This is just the other side. It's the same one. I die cut it once, and I had it um, on here, a little Nicole Jones 911 printable here and there, this lovely little cluster up at the top. And in this case, I used a photo that I actually found on Google. And I do discuss that a little bit in that video if you would like to hear uh, my views on using Google found photos in your personal albums. 
a gorgeous uh, Bramble Fox title piece here as well. And then this one that I did very, very recently, which was for um, another milestone hop, this time on Instagram, the lovely Sally Ann Floyd uh, reached 500 subbies. And we had an Instagram hop for her. There was a little bit of an activity over in the Dottie About Flair group. Lisa, the lovely Lisa Sikorsky uh, from Scrap a Sketch created an exclusive sketch for us to use. And I, of course, used the sketch and then also scrap lifted my lovely friend Helen's take on the sketch. So I have my little Chopin here, uh, all of the paper uh, comes, of course, from my How to Kill a Kit with Style. Some lovely perspective pieces here. I love, love this title piece. A wonderful and lovely sticker that I received, a vinyl sticker that I received from my lovely friend Colleen. Uh, this, I love this Flaralicious piece that remind me. I don't think that's what it's supposed to be, but both <laughs> Helen and I agree that it looks like a ball of yarn. So a ball of yarn it is, my friends. And then I went into one of my very old collections that had been given to me by my friend Karina, uh, My Mind's Eye, same manufacturer, but the Meow collection for some chipboard pieces here. And this wood veneer piece that I'm not quite sure where I got. It was just a, that bowl on my desk and I just put a little bit of dark gray ink on it so that it would stand out a little bit on the page so there you go my friends those are my three layouts i still have of course quite a bit of this collection left over but i did use quite a bit as well as i just mentioned i do have a page kit that you'll see coming back very very soon but i've used quite a bit of the chipboard but i still have a little bit of that left i just popped in here oh there's another little piece of chipboard here all of the die cuts and some of the smaller scraps that I might have in here including the the sort of packaging sheet here uh, again you see here I've got a couple of smaller scraps of the paper so I've got that in this little packaging here that of bits left over the sticker sheets i did use quite a bit look here i'm quite happy with this one i really just have a few little bits left on these two so these two seem to have been um my my sheets of choice because they are both almost finished so i just need to get that done when i opened the second uh, collection pack I did have this full sticker sheet in it so that's why this one has not been used um, as well as this one so you see I have two of these because of that haven't really used much out of this one a little bit here and not anything out of this alpha so maybe i think i'm going to put this alpha in with my alphas as opposed to putting it back in my stash or keeping it with that collection because you know it's black and it's so very versatile is it and it's cardstock um it's a cardstock set so perfect so i think that is what i'm going to do with that and then i do have a few small scraps here but larger pieces for sure and uh these are larger pieces this one as well and in terms of 12 by 12 sheets i really only have do i just have the two except for i think there's one over in that page kit so out of 16 i really only have the two full 12 by 12s left i did bring in um this sort of craft cardstock as well which i haven't used but i'm going to leave with it because i think this will be very very nice together so all in all i'm quite happy with what i've used but i still have quite a bit of this i can still get quite uh a few layouts done with this but i think for now i'm going to put it back with uh, my stash and I will bring it back again at some point as I did this time. Used it a little bit, put it away, used it 
a little bit more and we'll put it away for a little bit as well. Make sure, my friends, you pop on down below and see what everybody else got up to in April with their kits for How to Kill a Kit with Style. And we will be back on the 1st and or 2nd um, with what our plans are for May. If you have any suggestions, leave me a comment down below and I will see you back here very, very soon, my friends. Bye for now.